Good morning, Calvary. Happy New Year, and welcome to Calvary's 2023 Word for the Day series, which is focusing on the book of Psalms. Today, we're going to think about Psalm 2. Now, this psalm is very clearly a reference to Jesus. When this passage talks about the Lord's anointed, the King, or when it says, you are my son, these are all pointing to Jesus. This psalm also describes a world that is rebellious towards the Lord. It discusses nations that rage, people and kings who plot against God and Jesus. This psalm was written about 3,000 years ago, but it still rings true today. There are governments, rulers, whole groups who oppose God, Jesus, and his people. There are nations where those who worship Jesus can be arrested. Some governments seek to silence those who would talk about God and his word. Uh, laws are passed in our own country and around the world that mock God's truth. So how does this psalm give us some hope in 2023? Well, in verse 4, we see that God laughs at the futile attempts um, to overthrow his reign. All the powers of every nation are nothing compared to God's great power. And in verses five through nine, we see that God is angry with these rebellious nations and he will exalt Jesus over them. Ultimately, and here's the good news, Jesus wins. He will reign. The earth and everything in it belongs to him. So how should we respond? The Psalm ends with a call to be wise and warned. You can see that in verses 10 through 12. Listen to what it says. In verse 10, it says, now, therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. If we heed this psalm, we will serve the Lord, reverently rejoice, love Jesus, and take refuge in him. God promises a blessing to people from every nation who do these things. So how will you be wise in this new year and apply Psalm 2? In what way will you seek to serve the Lord? How will you rejoice in all that Jesus has done? When will you take some time to express your love for the Lord? And where in your life do you need to take refuge in God? I hope that today's word has encouraged you to seek the Lord while we live amongst nations that rage and plot against him. Take some time today to read all of Psalm 2 and then share this video with someone who needs some hope. And we will see you tomorrow.